students today we are going to do types of chemical reactions in chapter carbon and its compounds first type of reaction is combustion reaction combustion means when you are burning something in presence of air if you are burning something in complete supply of air it is called complete combustion and if it is burned in partial supply of air it is partial combustion Complete combustion of hydrocarbons will lead to formation of carbon dioxide and water while partial combustion of hydrocarbons will lead to carbon monoxide which is a silent killer so we will write the reactions here first we are having methane methane is saturated hydrocarbon it burns in presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide plus water we can balance this equation along with carbon dioxide and water it will give you heat and light methane gas is present in cng compressed natural gas its major component is methane so it can be used as fuel then you can have butane butane is major component of lpg liquefied petroleum gas when it burns in presence of oxygen it will give you carbon dioxide water along with heat and light we can balance this equation this equation is balanced so we can understand from this hydrocarbons on burning will give you carbon dioxide water along with heat and light so they are used as fuel if you are taking any saturated hydrocarbon it will give you clean flame on burning they burns with clean flame why non saturated hydrocarbons they burns with sooty flame means they will leave unburned carbon black with them you can have a question like if you are having butane butene and butyne out of these three which can be used as better fuel so out of these three uh, keep in mind always this saturated hydrocarbon will be better fuel as amount of hydrogen is more in this more is amount of hydrogen more will be the quality of fuel because we know amount of hydrogen will decide the fuel efficiency hydrogen is having more calorific value its calorific value is 150 kJ per kg so from this we can conclude that saturated hydrocarbons will be better fuel as compared to unsaturated hydrocarbons then some of the substances burns with flame and some substances burns without flame reason behind is see this candle candle is having a wick inside so when this candle wax is melting it is rising in the form of vapors vapors are rising and they are burning vapors are rising they are burning so it is forming a flame but when you are burning coal coal is not burning with flame because it is not having volatile component in it so the substances which are having volatile components in them they burns with flame and those which are not having any volatile component in them they can burn without flame 